Hey everyone, so this tutorial will walk you through what to do with your badges after you earn them. So every time you submit a badge on Canvas, after I get it graded and it's marked as complete, um, I'll attach the image of the badge that you can then use to add to your ePortfolio. So for example, um, I'm going to show you sort of what it looks to, like to build this here in a second, but in the end you'll have a page like this for your professional development page of your ePortfolio where you'll have the badge on the left, the title of the badge, and then a short description of what you did. This title is also linked to what you created. So this is sort of an example of the end result here. But to build that, what you'll want to do, probably the easiest way to start, um, is by dragging over a text section dragging over an image section and when you do that um, you want to make sure it's um, got this overlap you can also do it here to the side but in general I think it's a little easier to work um, with the overlap like that um, and then we could add a title just over here of the top of it so for example if this was your first badge um, we did chatter pick slash uh, blabber eyes so uh, and for those folks who did Blabberize, I realized the badge I sent you was an image of Chatterpix. That's totally fine. That's currently the only badge we have for it, um, and they're basically the same thing. So um, this is the Chatterpix Blabberize badge. You would explain what I created. Um, the big thing here is um, likes, dislikes about the tool, but also how can I use it in my future classroom? So that's the big thing to focus on here. Um, then you'll also want to upload the badge image as well. So this would be the Chatterpix badge image. They might be a little large when you upload them, so um, it's definitely good to shrink them. <laughs> shrink them down maybe not that small um, but something like that so it aligns nicely with the text so you would have a block of text here and then you'll want to link to the website URL so this would either be the YouTube video of your chatter pics or the blabberize link um, and leave it set to open in a new window that way when people click on it, it pops up in a new window or a new tab so in the end you'll have 10 badges here on this professional development page as well as the um, Excel graph that you did a little while back um, but you don't need to worry about that for now. For now just be adding in the badges as you get them. So right now you've completed five. Um, we don't have any new badges to work on for this 3A so it's a great time to um, work on adding those five in that you've already done so far. Also, um, this was from last week's announcement, but your home and about me page, um, you should have completed those. So um, make sure you get done with those. And if you want any feedback on your ePortfolio at any point, always just feel free to send me an email. I'll be grading these at the end, kind of once it's all together. It's something we'll be working on over the course of these eight weeks. Um, but if you want to check in at any point, always feel free to just send me a link uh, email and say, hey, can you check out my ePortfolio? Send me the link to it. And then I'll take a look and give you feedback sort of on where you're at and where we're going. Um, so then in the end, uh, you'll have something that looks really nice like this. It's great. You've got the descriptions. You've got the badge. You've got a link. Um, but for this week, try to at least just get those first five up there on your professional development page. And let me know if you have any questions.